Okay, what I want to show tonight is the assembly of the classic, or in this case, the double classic checkbox. We start with the bottom flat on your tabletop, and one of the tips I want to give is that you'll put the hardware on while it's flat, and you'll see more and more hardware. Here's a side panel where I've already placed the, the uh, door clips and the, the cables on there. It's much easier to do when it's flat. Um, tonight we're going to be using uh, glue in our dados and I pulled our tenons together. If you have a good wood glue, go ahead and use it. It, it really does help to make the box much stronger. So let's get started. We're going to start with the back slot here. Put a little glue in the slot. <clears throat> And we'll just place our back in there temporarily and stand up straight for us. Wipe off any excess glue as you go. We're going to put our left side side in. A little bit of glue in that slot. And a little bit where the back panel comes in. Now what you want to do is make sure these, these are flush on the front edge here. And then using our one and a quarter inch screws, we're just going to attach this back to the side. There's two holes here. two screws on this side making sure that front is flush once again. not a lot to it but those two two screws on each side help to kind of hold this together and give us a much quicker assembly so now we're gonna put our center pieces in put a little glue in here and we've got our large partition now you notice you got holes in a dado here the holes the shelf holes go this way they match this and the dado goes to this side. You'll see how the shelf will lay in here. I like to put a little bit of glue in there before we put the shelf in. And then our shelf goes just in the slot. The dado here, and the, there's a dado on the to the one side that goes up and it just slides in that way. What I like to do a lot of times is while I'm assembling this, I'll just put a strap of blue tape across here, any kind of tape, a masking tape, a packing tape, it just acts as another set of hands when we're trying to get this top on. So that's really all we need. We can pull it off in a little while when we're done assembling. Our center partition, remember that edge banding, the nice edge, this is the bad edge, the nice edge goes forward, so we'll put a little bit of glue in here. And then really at this point we're ready to put our top on the box. 
there's our top. Before we do that, we'll put a little bit of glue in these dados. The glue really does help to stiffen it up uh, once the screws are in. It's not necessary, but it does help quite a bit to stiffen the box when you're out camping or going down the road and you got all your gear in it. At this point, we're going to flip it and just take our time and work this onto the different parts. Making sure everything's seated nicely and once again we're, we're flushing up here on the front of this. Again, using our inch and a quarter screws, we're going to screw the top to the sides. Make sure that's flush. There we go. That first screw is pretty critical to getting it all together properly. There we are, a total of nine screws on top. And then using your hands on the top and bottom, flip it over. To get our nine screws in the bottom. Making sure we're flush on the front, right here. really all there is to it with the box. Our box is essentially assembled at this point. We can take our packing tape off or our masking tape. We're all ready to go. And then we can attach the door. Everything's pre-drilled. Everything has pre-drilled holes. We'll put our drawer in here. Lining it up with the holes. 
there's something I want to show you that's a little, a little catch that you have to watch out for. The door hinges are not symmetrical. There's one side that's marked door, and you want to make sure that that side is actually on the door. So in this case, the bottom of this is marked door. Lining up the pre-drilled holes here. Cables. Our cables attach here when we're in the field and using the box. They touch on the catches like this. And then when it's not in use, they just go inside. side we have an adjustable shelf put in with the adjustable shelf pin so count up put your pin in place and then you can place your adjustable shelf so you can see very quickly in a matter of about 10 minutes we can assemble this and this is the double chuck box.